Hi guys, today uh, I want to do a little bit of a different video. So as you can see, I have the Vegas Strip behind me and I actually live in Vegas. Some of you guys might not know this, but what I want to do today is I want to take you all shopping in Vegas with me on the Strip. So we're going to hit up a couple of few casinos. The ones that I want to do is definitely going to be Planet Hollywood. We're also going to hit up Bellagio. I want to go to Caesars Palace. We might go to Venetian. I haven't really decided yet, but I thought I would just kind of show you around a little bit of what Vegas and the Strip has to offer because I do live in Vegas like I said and I can't believe that I haven't done a video like this before on my channel so I hope you guys enjoy this so we're actually gonna go ahead and head over to Planet Hollywood which Planet Hollywood is actually right over there so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna go to the Miracle Mile shops which they have a Sephora they have a Mac they have I'm pretty sure a NYX store they also have a Morphe store so I'm gonna show you around inside of the casino I'll show you around inside of the shops and then we'll go hit up some of the makeup stores as well I don't know if I'll actually end up buying anything but I thought it could just be a fun video so let's go over there and see what we can find Especially inside of the shops. I wonder if I want to take you guys into the casino as well. Maybe we'll take a short lap into the casino so you can see what one of the casinos in Vegas look like. So we are officially inside of these stores again and the reason why this place is called the Miracle Mile is because it's basically a lap of a mile of stores so it's kind of cool. We're gonna head over to Morphe which should be right around the corner here so I'll take you over there. We'll go in and see what they have. I'm kind of curious about the new Jeffree Star concealer so just restocked. I might get one of those if they have them. I also really want to get his powder so we'll see what they have in store. Otherwise, I might take you around the whole lap after just so you can see what kind of stores I have inside of the casino store. So let's go ahead and check out Morphe. So this is the new palette that I have. I did not know that there was a press glitter in this. so. Basically browns with a pop of green. How boring. I guess they still sell the Vault collection. I wasn't sure if they still carry those, but I guess they do. A lot of Morphe brushes. You guys know Morphe brushes are some of my favorites. They have some very unique shape brushes. I guess we have the James Charles palette as well. Some of the Jeffree Star collection it looks like. The row of brushes. I might actually take a look and see if I want duplicates of any of these. This one right here is one of my favorites. I love this. It's really, really small and it's kind of fluffy at the same time. Some people might think this is a bit too small to do any kind of blending with, but I love this brush. I would recommend if you're getting any eye brushes from Morphe though to go with the black ones. I find that they hold up a bit better than the white ones do. Oh, and they have Suva here today. Interesting, I did not know that. These are the Hydro Liners. They're really good. guessing this is where the new one that's to come is going to be as well. I'm so excited about the Shane collab, you guys. 
I really wonder what that palette is going to end up being. But this is the store that I always go to to get the new releases, to try to be first to post a video, you know? So I'll usually stand in that line outside of the store waiting for it to open so I can get the palette first. Here you have some more boring brown palettes. Super exciting. I mean, look at these color stores. That is groundbreaking. Wow, there's not even a pop of color in these. So they didn't have what I was looking for. I did meet a subscriber though, which was amazing. So hi, if you see this, it was so nice to meet you. Um, I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go for a lap around these stores here so you can see actually how long this is. I was planning on stopping by a couple of stores, but I might not do that. I'll just do like a time lapse of me walking through the store, which is like a mile of stores. So I have a little bit of walking in front of me, but it should be fun. So the sky thing that you see here is actually a very normal thing here in Vegas inside of the stores. There's quite a few casinos who do this. I don't know who started it, but I know that the um, form shops, the Caesars Palette has this, the Venetian shops has this. I don't know who started it, like I said, but someone is copying someone and I don't know who, but it is kind of cool though. Okay, so I just realized that I've been filming for like eight minutes of me just walking right now and I don't think I have that much battery life on this camera so I don't want to film too much with me just walking. I would like to film more of me like inside of the source and showing you stuff. So we're gonna head out and then I'll probably loop around on the outside and go into Sephora when we get there. I know there's like a mixed store in here somewhere too but I'm not really sure where. Not super familiar with where everything is because it's a very big casino so we're just gonna head out there, loop around, and then head into Sephora. Do you see Sephora? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it right there? Right there, I see it. Let's go in. So as you can see, we are still inside of the same casino and the same shops. It's just a little bit further away. So here is Sephora. This is one of the bigger Sephoras on the strip, I would say. So let's go take a look. Hi. Am I allowed to film in here? No, no I'm okay. sorry. That's okay. So they told me I couldn't film inside of Sephora, so next time I won't ask if I can film inside of Sephora, I'm just going to film inside of Sephora. So we're gonna go to another Sephora because there's a lot of them on the strip and thankfully it's not just this one, so I'm gonna try to find the next store. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but it's not just this one, so I'm gonna try to find the next store. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but if I can find it, I will take you in and we can take a little peek and see what they have in there. Oh my god, you guys, I am such an idiot. So Sephora is right there. I just took like a whole nother lap around here, and then the next store is right here. That's Sephora. That's next. Let's go in. These are some of my favorite eyeliners. These are the faux whites, these are the faux blacks. If you guys ever see these in store, I would highly recommend them. They're great. Have any of you tried these? I'm always on the lookout for a cheap brow pencil, so if you've tried those, let me know how they are. The 
This one is kind of nice. I've never seen this before. I also didn't know that NYX had their own brushes. Are these any good? They kind of look good. So we are outside on the stripping and I think the next stop is probably going to be Caesar's Palace which is right there. This is Bellagio. Maybe I'll walk you guys over there and maybe if we're lucky the fountains will come on. So this is where the fountains are. Apparently they're on kind of randomly during the day and they said that they're on a schedule at night so they probably won't be on for a while but this is where they are. I'm sure you've all seen them on TV and stuff. This is pretty iconic. So. I think we're gonna go ahead and move over to Caesar's Palace, like I said, it's right there. We're gonna go to the form shops. I'll show you inside of the casino a little bit as well. Oh, and also if you guys are enjoying this, there's actually quite a few drugstores that we could go to as well in a separate video. Because I'm seeing a CVS right across the street and I know they have a pretty good makeup selection. So if you want to see a drugstore version of this, like a drugstore come shop with me in Vegas, let me know and I can probably do that. This is the iconic Caesars Palace lobby. I'm sure you have all seen this on TV. We're gonna go ahead and move into the casino and then I will take you to the shops and we can walk around there for a little bit. So this is the form shops, they have a lot of different variety of stores, mostly high-end stores though, so if you go here planning to get something cheap, you probably won't find anything unless you go to Sephora and buy a sample for $10, so I wouldn't expect to buy anything here. There is a very big H&M store here though, which is one of the biggest in the world if I'm not mistaken. I might actually hit that one up because I love H&M and I wouldn't mind just taking a peek. But let's walk around for a bit, so as you can see, you still have the sky in the ceiling here i just like there was inside of the other casino as well We found Sephora. Not going to ask anyone if I can film this time. I can't film. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Well, I guess we just had another flop. I wasn't able to film in there as well. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to be subtle here, but it's really hard when there's always people at the entrance telling me I can't film. So I guess we're just gonna keep walking and uh, if I see anything interesting, I will show you. And the next makeup stop is probably going to be the next Sephora, which is going to be at Venetian. But that's gonna be a while for me because I wanna go probably do some shopping of my own. I wanna go to H&M. I also wanna get some food somewhere. Uh, there is a cheesecake factory right here. It's not really what I'm feeling though, but I do need to use the restroom, so I'm gonna go do that. I might hit up Bath and Body Works too, but I will check in with you guys in a bit.
so here's the last of four I want to try to go to. I'm going to put my camera down as I walk in and probably pull my camera out when I get in there so that people in the front don't see me. So that's going to be the plan. Wish me luck. Let's see if we can film some more inside of a Sephora here. These are really pretty. I don't think I've ever seen these. Looks like blushes from Ciate. Those are beautiful. Interesting. What is this? I've never seen those before. I do really like their regular lipstick formula though. It's really nice. Oh, this is Bite by the way. These eyeliners are really good. I mean, they're multi-purpose, but you can use them for anything. Those are cute lipstick cases. I love them. Also, I've always wanted to try the meteorites. This is my holy grail foundation. I love this. This is what I'm wearing today. These are amazing as well. I only have one color, but I would love to get more of them. See, now that is a good blush shade. Why is that not here? See how muted they all look? I would love for Hourglass to come out with like some more pungy blushes because I do like me a pigmented blush. I didn't ask, but they didn't say anything, so I consider that a success. I'm kind of surprised though, because I haven't bought anything today. I think it's because I don't want to be carrying around bags while I'm carrying around my camera and trying to film, so I don't know what we're going to do next. I guess maybe I'll take you inside of the Nation, just walk around for a little bit. Maybe I'll even take you inside of the Wynn and just show you around the casinos for a bit, because I don't think there's really a ton of makeup stores that I feel like going to anymore. There's a few at the mall. Well, it's really not that exciting though. I mean, it's Vegas, there's malls everywhere. So I think we're gonna call it quits with like the makeup and I will show you a little bit around at the different casinos now because I feel like that would be interesting. Oh look, my favorite, sugar candy. If you haven't already seen my LA vlog where we went to a candy store in LA, you will know how much this makes me happy.
some more candy. So I totally ended up getting candy because you can never have too much candy and it's not like it goes bad, you know, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge and I'll have candy forever. So life is good. Plus it's my birthday tomorrow. My birthday is probably past though by the time you see this, but you can wish me happy belated. I turned 31. I'm so old. Oh my God, can you believe it? But I mean, obviously you can see a theme with all of these places here in Vegas. I mean, everybody likes to pretend like they're outside. I don't know what the deal is. Like I said, I don't know who started this, but it's kind of cool still. It just gives it a really fun atmosphere. Oh look, I found an Inglot. Did not know they had an Inglot here. That's kind of cool. So we're just walking out of the Venetian. I think this is where I'm going to end this video because honestly, my battery is running very low and I don't know how much time I have left. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching this video. If there's anything else that you want to see me do in Vegas that's obviously like beauty related, let me know and I can see if I can do that because I want to take advantage of just living here and having so many cool things to show you guys. So let me know what you want to see. Thank you for watching this video as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and watch some of my makeup content and yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching.